handsome, I like to say, is the one and only Trent Gilbert. It's time to take it on home as we head into the weekend. I'm doing lots of hand motions, Trent. Take us on home. What's happening, my friend? That's very sweet of you, CP. Okay, so we love an HGTV show. We, I feel like in this past Me year, too. everyone's on Zillow looking at homes that are way out of their price range. So just seeing architecture <laughs> yeah. um, of celebrities just excites us. And supermodel Naomi Campbell definitely has a seaside getaway like no other. Architectural Digest is featuring dream homes around the world in their latest issue. And this supermodel is in Malindi, Kenya with this airy villa that is just ah. incredible. She takes us on a tour of wow. the bedrooms, the living room, the, in the infinity pool, and it is just something to behold. So as statuesque as she is, I feel like this home just mirrors her. Let's take a look at, at a little bit of that <laughs> tour with snapshots. So we are in Malindi, Kenya. I came to Malindi in 1994 for the very first time and then fell in love with Malindi in 1999. Everything is under a Makuti roof, so everything is open. So we will call this area the living room. Trent, I was so close to having that home back in my supermodel days, but I had to retire early. Here I am today. You were this close. Life, right? She outbid you. <laughs> and how? As That's you said, amazing. Matisse, from hot homes to high fashion, <laughs> Naomi Campbell is no stranger to uh, the wonderful Met Gala. And it was postponed last year, of course, due to the pandemic. So 2021 right. and 2022, we will have an event. Now, usually it's in early May, but this year we're going to see it in September. Uh, and I'm just showing you on this Flashback Friday looks of past year. This oh. is Kendall Jenner in Versace. The theme this year yeah. uh, will be focused on American designers and how we overcame so much in, in cultural and, and social moments. Blake Lively in Versace and, of course, the wonderful Lady Gaga in one of four looks from Brandon Maxwell from past years. CP. Oh, Trent, I love, 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 love to look and see what everyone is wearing and, you know, how uh, closely they stick to the theme and who's a little far out there, but who does it elegantly. I don't know why I'm having this thought of one year of, of Tom Brady and Giselle, but um, God, they always look amazing, of course. But um, yes, yes, just incredible. I love when they kind of have these dynamic couples that really come together. And you're right. Some of them follow the theme so well. One more thing that you can find on our Facebook page is National Siblings Day. We're going to take it in another direction. But earlier in the week, we celebrated the holiday with pictures of not only us, but celebrities uh, from NBC. So there you go with Holly Jackson on National Siblings Day and the wonderful Chanel Jones from Today Show. We also have Chrissy Metz from This Is Us. Christine, I have one note on This Is Us breaking now. It will be a shortened season, so it's gonna go from 18 to 16 episodes. So be on the lookout. It's gonna be on a new night, and in May, you're gonna see that tearjerker, that, that Kleenex grabbing drama on NBC. So be on the lookout for that. It's, it's gonna be a little shorter, but we'll look forward to next season as well. Trent, I have to tell you, and don't be mad at me, Kara made her confession earlier, I'm making mine. I have not started that series. I'm dying to. I've interviewed stars from the show, but I have yet to, do don't, please don't be mad. I will start watching, I promise. I promise, we will start. I, I'm right there with you, the three of us need to binge together. We, we're all This Is Us virgins. Okay. Oh, my God, you too. I had no idea. You were a sneaky little thing. Okay, great, Trent. And, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a terrific weekend. I will see you right back here on Monday. Thank you so much. Mwah.